Good boys and girls and fellow travelers. Today I am in the state of Kelantan. This is my first time in Kelantan and I'm here to conquer all the iconic food of Kelantan that I've heard about. I'm so excited to be here because Kelantan seems to be a very different state than the rest of Malaysia. The rules here are different, the food here are different, the language here are very much different from the rest of Malaysia. So I cannot wait to explore this state and to explore the capital city Kota Baru which I've heard so much good things about. And so let's check the place out. Home to 2.4 million people, the state of Kelantan is known as the cradle of Malay culture. However, due to its special position in the northeast of Peninsula Malaysia, Kelantan cuisine, art and language is very different from the rest of Malaysia. This is my first stop here in Kota Baru and this stall is full of all those amazing Malay kueh. It is so colourful. I feel like buying every one of them because they look so good. Everything they display here looks amazing. We're gonna buy it and then we're gonna eat it at another cafe. There you go, we've collected all of this food for our breakfast today. Never have I seen so many colourful and even though I'm in Malaysia, I still feel very foreign because I have never seen all these food before. So I'll start with tumpang, it's cone shape. And I know for a fact that this is being consumed by all the farmers in Kelantan. And why it is shaped this way, because they used to carry this to the rice field to work and then they would have this for lunch and that's why they are shaped this way here and we're just gonna roll it out this is the runding right yeah oh take a bite this fish prawn and very sticky rice and with the runding the rice is really fresh and sticky. The iconic nasi dagang uh, of Kelantan. It looks amazing. And they have eggs, they have chili, cucumber, and of course the fish is the main and surrounding. And then with the rice. That's it. The curry is very good. It's salty. It smells good, mm. but it's, it tastes really, really nice. So there you go, the famous nasi dagang. So this is the iconic nasi karabu. It's purple and it's a subset of nasi ulam, right? That's, uh, that's why I heard. Yeah, so it's a subset of nasi ulam and you see this blue color rice. And it's blue color is because of the, the blue pea flower that dyes it to be blue. Again, surrounding with a lot of... Oh wow, this look at that. This grabu salad. Oh wow, look at that. And then with the veggie. And then with the rice. It's our first taste. 
Mm. It's very Thai flavor. This is the chicken. Mm. Roasted very well, and the fragrance is there. It's big cracker, and you eat it with fish crackers. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the best breakfast. So we've also collected nasi kat wok. This dish is born in Kelantan. Went to the famous nasi JJ to get this very early in the morning. Just fried chicken and then with the special curry sauce that they have. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's very good. The curry is very different. I really like the rice here. Very good. This akko made from coconut milk and eggs. It's very custardly flavor. Yeah, it's very. It's like a custard cake. It's just enough sweetness, so it's not too sweet. I highly recommend it, and I can taste the egg. So they burn the coconut shell to make this, which is the traditional way of making akko, which is like I really highly recommend. That this is my favorite so far, actually. Overlooked for decades, Kelantan quietly conceals a treasure trove of cultural gems. Unlike most places in Malaysia, Kelantan is a time capsule that preserves various forms of Malay heritage. A tradition that is thought of being passed down from China, Kelantan is commonly associated with the traditional giant kite making called the wow made from a bamboo frame and colored paper. While there are different types of wow in Malaysia, the wow bulan or moon kite is the most well-known and beautiful with its largest crescent framework and ornate design. Many prestigious competition of kite flying are held each year on the beaches of Kelantan. Another treasure from the East Coast is bate. In simple term, bate is an art to decorate cloth with wax as recess method, derived from the Javanese word amba to write and tite. Dot bate is an old form of art which loosely translated means two dot, while some have even translated it as wax writing or drawing with a broken line. Bate is essentially a crafted fabric that needs to undergo the delicate and repeated process of waxing, dyeing, and boiling. Wax is used as a mean of color blocking in the coloring process. One of the most interesting dish Kelantanese came up with is a dish called Maggi Katam. Maggi noodle crab in English. People who don't know, Maggi noodle is like kind of like an instant noodle in Malaysia. So they've combined Malaysian instant noodle and crab. It looks pretty amazing. I've never seen anything like it. The most interesting noodle that I ever had. It's pretty good. It's genius. Pretty amazing. I need to calm down my stomach with all those crab and instant noodle. Carefully tucked away in a residential area, Drum and Desk offers the best coffee in town. Their retro chic industrial environment is a great place for friends gathering, work or having short discussions. So do visit this chic cafe because they make the best waffle chocolate ever. Um. B 
because of Kelantan's unique geographical location bordering the Kingdom of Thailand, Kelantan is home to the second largest Thai population in Malaysia. Second only to the state of Kedah, Kelantan has more than 28,000 Thai Malaysian. They are known as Malaysian Siamese. Here in Kelantan, they identified themselves as Thai or Siamese but hold Malaysian citizenship just like me. They are predominantly Buddhist and over the years have built some of the most extraordinary Buddhist temple in Malaysia. Along with their culture, the Thai community has also brought over their yummy Thai recipe to this part of Malaysia. And interestingly, all the restaurants here are named after Thai city. Today seems like we are in Chiang Mai for dinner. Very good morning to you everyone. It's day two for me here in Kota Baru and it is breakfast time and I am standing outside Polo Milo Tonggeng. And also I heard this place has some of the best breakfast in Kota Baru and all of Kelantan. So let's check it out. This place is pretty incredible. I really like the idea of the cafe diner setup that they have over here. And I think the breakfast choices is like endless. There's just endless, endless food. And I thought the whole place was incredible. Just, just incredible choice. Anything you ever wanted in Kelantan for breakfast is right there on the display. So this is the famous Milo Tongging. I have never tried it before. I think they just had a lot of Milo in it and then they splash all these Milo powder on top. Mm. Really good. This is roti kitab and I think what they do is they put butter on both sides here and then the gaya on both sides here and then they just put um, the egg in the middle. It's, I guess this combination is um, very creative. Soy sauce here. Mm. Egg. Mm. Mm. I think the kaya is really, really rich. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. oh, this breakfast is incredible. And I am in the largest market in all of Kelantan. The most iconic market, I think, in Malaysia. This is the City Katija market, morning market. It is early morning. It's buzzing with activities.
On 8th of December 1941, 17 minutes before the Pearl Harbor attack, the Japanese Imperial Army landed on the beaches of Kota Baru mm. to begin their Malayan campaign. The objective of the Malayan campaign is of course to capture the fortress of Singapore and hence Kota Baru became the first Malayan city to fall under the Japanese occupation for the rest of World War II. And if you have time for only just one museum here in Kota Baru, I suggest you check out the war museum behind me here in Kota Baru. Well, I have had satay all my life here in Malaysia. It's a national dish. Uh, Malaysians are really proud of their satay, but I heard Kelantani satay is something very different. So I'm here at the famous Satay Raza here in Kota Baru to have a taste of the Kelantani satay. They are sold out very quickly. Oh, boys and girls, it looks the same as um, any other satay in Malaysia but I was told that they have a special sambal sauce here in Kelantan and you're supposed to um, mix this sauce with uh, the peanut sauce here just gonna dip it and roll it, roll it thoroughly I'm gonna take my first bite mm. Mm. For a start this meat is much thicker, it's very chewy, and oh, the sauce is amazing. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. The, mm. the sambal, the sambal taste is coming up right now. There you go. Mm. You can see the nuts are um, crunchier, um, bigger, bigger, bigger nuts than what I, what you, what I normally get in the West Coast. Mm. Very, very happy. Highly recommend. <laughs> Those kids look like they're having tons of fun. Girls, that's a wrap for my video here in Kelantan. Kelantanese are the friendliest people I have ever encountered. I mean, everywhere I go, I'm greeted with smile. And I want to shout out to my local friend, Billy. Everything you saw on this video was from Billy. And because of Billy, I'm able to shoot this video. So I want to thank you, Billy, for helping me making this video. I must say, everything I thought about Kelantan before I came here was wrong. And this really reminds me of what someone used to tell me which is that travel is not a reward for yourself travel is a journey of education and the Kelantanese people have certainly educated me on a lot of things during this trip so with this trip of Kelantan I have visited all 13 states in Malaysia so I can tell everyone now that I have been well traveled in my own country and I hope life returns back to normal soon for you I'll see you on my next video and on my next adventure bye